Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new light from Ace Beam. Now I haven't done too many Ace Beam lights, but maybe I need to start doing more. Look at this guy. I mean, just look at even the button. It almost looks like one of those, if you're part of any flashlight forum groups or anything, you see these guys that build these custom lights and, you know, they're fancy and cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. That's what this reminds me of, but this is a production light. And just look at the fit and finish on this thing, man. And I know it's gonna be a little hard to see here. I might have to roll in a picture of it, but that emitter is an XHP 70.2. Look at the size of that thing. Now this one here is 4,000 lumens, but I'm actually giving away another one. But this one here, still sealed up, and this one is 4,600 lumens. And we're gonna give this one away. More on that in just a minute. Now, when you order one of these, there's a couple different options. First, the battery is optional. So if you already have a few 21700s, and from what I read in the packaging, you can also do an 18650 in here. Uh, you cannot do CR123s. Uh, but there's a few different options for the, the temperature as well. There's 6500 and 5000, all right? This one is the 6500 Kelvin, as is the one that we're gonna be giving away. And then there's a couple different options for the body itself. So this one here is that SS model, the stainless steel model, all right? There's a black one there. There's also a titanium and a copper version. And I'm gonna get you some nighttime footage here in just a few minutes, but we're gonna compare it to first, the Thru-Night TT10, all right? Same exact emitter in there, almost the same style of, and size of flashlight. Now this one is 3,700 lumens, but 18,000 candela, whereas this is, as I mentioned, 4,000 lumens and 12,100 candela. This should be a pretty good fight. And then we're gonna compare it to the Claris X-T21X. Now this one is also 4,000 lumens, but almost 25,000 candela, all right? So it's twice as much candela gonna throw much, much harder, but I mean, look at the size difference. This is not really what I would consider an EDC light, um, maybe a backpack light. And this one also uses that huge XHP 70.2 emitter. All right, let's talk about everything it comes with. Obviously it comes with the light, and as you can see here, a lanyard. It does come, if you choose that option, with a 5100 milliamp hour 21700 battery, which is USB-C chargeable via the port right there, all right? And the top here where that white ring is actually lights up to let you know the charging status. It's also gonna come with some extra O-rings, your user manual, there's a warranty card in here, a actually really cool USB-C charging cable, so you have an extra port on the side there, and a nice little carry pouch. There is your close-up view of it. I mean, this thing is beautiful, guys. Look at the button there. Now the button is actually just this piece in the center here. I'll show you the operation of it here in just a minute. And it is tail cap standable. I know some guys could take it or leave it. I'll tell you, before I got solar put into my uh, cabin at Deer Camp, I used to do this. I used to take a light, put it on either moonlight or a low lumen level and shine it up on the tin ceiling to get me a little bit of light while I was mucking around in there. So your mileage may vary. You may find value in that, you may not. All right, I took the lanyard off just so it's not flopping around while I do this. Now, this is a little bit interesting. Um, I can't think of another light that I've seen this do. So if you, you actually have to double click to activate the light, okay? Single click turns it back off. Double click to activate, and then when the light is on, double click to get your turbo mode, triple click to get your strobe mode. And if the light is off, press and hold to get your moonlight mode. There's your one lumen mood light mode. A lot of guys are gonna like the fact that it's one lumen. You get lights that do 10 lumens, that's too much for a moonlight mode. Very nicely done by Ace Beam on that. So let's double click to turn it on, and then click and hold to cycle through the brightness levels. So there's low, medium one, medium two, high, low, medium one, medium two, high. All right guys, here we go. Up first on the left is the Through Night TT10. 3,700 lumens. For frame of reference, if you're not familiar with my channel, that barn back there is 61 yards from where I'm standing. And you can't really see it with this light. You might with the, uh, the Ace Beam or the Claris, but back in that dark spot right there is a white target at 107 yards. Used to be 101, I had to move it back recently. Let's move that off to the side and bring in the Ace Beam. All right, so that's the Ace Beam, that's 6,500 Kelvin, and that's the through night, 3,700 lumens. 4,000 lumens. Both of these have orange peel reflectors on them. The Ace Beam is definitely brighter. 
I think it's the warmth of the through night. You can see the through night is a warmer tone if I put them both on the grass here. Through night is a little bit warmer beam pattern. Cooler always just looks brighter at distance. And again, that barn, if you're not familiar with my channel, is 14 feet tall at the peak. So it kind of gives you an idea of how big the spill and the hot spot are on these. Now on the left is the Claris XT21X. Much, much more of a thrower, not really an EDC light. And with this, you can kind of see that target at 107 yards back there. See that white spot? That is a target, steel target at 107. Let's move that off to the side and bring back in the ace beam. So that's 4,000 lumens. That's 4,000 lumens, but the Claris has twice as much candela. A little bit apples to oranges, but I did want to show you something that had the same emitter, same battery, and just give you a frame of reference. All right, let's talk about the giveaway. This one's gonna be super simple. All I'm gonna do is ask that you follow me here on this channel or my backup channel. I'm gonna put links to those in the description below, all right? Once you follow me on one or both of those, just post a comment down below and let me know you follow. If you wanna add some humor in there, that's always appreciated. I'm gonna do the drawing Monday the 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Now this is only applicable in the US, all right? I pay for shipping all of this stuff myself. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do a bunch of giveaways, so make sure you do subscribe, all right? And I'm gonna let you choose between this model, which I will package back up very nicely. It hasn't been drop tested or anything. I literally just unboxed it to show you and do the nighttime comparison footage, but you can either choose this beauty right here or the black version that's actually 4,600 lumens. And that's it, guys. If you are interested in one of these, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Now, full disclosure, it is an affiliate link of mine, so if you do happen to buy one, I get a couple dollars, all right? So if you appreciate the videos and the giveaways, I'd appreciate using that link. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a like. I've got lots more to come, and I'll see you in the next one.